I'm going to make a big promise in today's episode, and that is that I'm going to get you over any jealousy issues you have in the next three minutes. Any jealousy that we have, whether it's big or small, on some level comes from comparison. We sit there and we compare ourselves to other people. If it's our partner and we get jealous of another guy or another girl muscling in, or them spending time with someone, we get jealous because we compare ourselves on some level. We compare what we have to what they have. Jealousy only exists by comparison on some level. Now think about this for a moment. Someone can always beat you in one category. It doesn't matter who you are. You can, like, you can think you're a good looking person. If you're a guy, you can think you're good looking and then you find someone who's just as good looking as you but taller. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I'm screwed. <laughs> they got more than me. You could be a woman and you can think you're pretty and then you find a woman who's prettier than you or has the exact breasts that you want or has the exact body type you want and you suddenly feel insignificant again by a comparison to that person. And therefore we get jealous, especially if you find your boyfriend talking to that person and giving that person attention. Now, jealousy comes from those moments where we feel inferior. And I'm gonna show you how to avoid feeling inferior ever again. Someone once said to me, they literally gave me the most amazing compliment I'd ever had. They told me that I inspired them, I made them laugh, I was generous to them, I was great to be around, I was thoughtful, and I taught them things. Now, the reason that this was one of the most beautiful compliments someone had given me is because she showed me the full range of the things that I was able to bring to her life. It's no one category that makes me special to that person. We often worry about one idea, one look, or one physical feature, one idea of ourselves that makes us special to someone. And that's not what makes us special. Because let me tell you something, someone is always gonna beat you in one category. There's always gonna be someone more intelligent. There's always gonna be someone that can teach other people more than you can teach them, that has more knowledge, that's better looking, that's taller, that has a better body shape by some arbitrary standard. There's always gonna be someone who beats you in one or more categories. But here's the difference. We may look at him and say, oh, he's tall and good looking, but is he tall, good looking, and funny? Is he tall, good looking, and generous? Is he tall, good looking, and as thoughtful as me? Is, in other words, is this someone who really beats me in every category or am I just focusing on one thing? So here's what I'd like you to do. Instead of focusing on just excelling in one area, focus on diversifying that portfolio and saying, you know what? I'm gonna be that person that brings so much to the table in every area, in the amount that I inspire someone, in the amount of positive energy I bring to them, in the amount of generosity I bring to them, in how much I compliment them and make them feel great, in how much I spark their imagination and make them think about things they've never thought about before, in the amount that I show them new worlds that they haven't discovered before. I'm gonna be that person that represents so many good things that it doesn't matter if one person excels in one category, they can never compete with all of the things that I am as an entirety. And you know what? If someone still leaves me at that point when I'm being all of those things, that really means that I can let them walk away with a good heart knowing that this person wasn't the person for me and that someone else was genuinely better for them. And th at that point, my friends, I don't think it's about jealousy. I think it's about logistics and two people that genuinely work together. So with that, I say go enjoy your relationships, forget the jealousy, and focus on the package you bring to the table. Take care, and I'll see you soon.